Whoa, what the hell is this? Hey guys, MRC here, and today I'm gonna show my final result of the printer. I mean, painter. Sorry. So, there is a lot more buttons, and the colors is still the same amount. But for them who haven't seen my last video about this printer, um, I'm just gonna go through it all. Okay, so first, this is the list of colors you can pick. So if I take a yellow, it will stay there. Like, it will fall from the top, and it will take the space relative to this. So, this makes it there, and this makes it beside it. So, it's not that hard. And, there is line numbers and button numbers to make it a little bit easier so the first button is the clear everything button so this as you may have guessed just clears everything on the screen so it makes a signal go uh, help me so it makes a signal go all the way to this big space this is not included but and it plays an explode sound when a signal rece receives it so it does it eight times one explosion for every two lines so Let's make the feeling better, I guess. Okay, so the next button is make a falling line of snow. So this makes this just to cover it all in snow. I'm not sure why. So, um, I'm just gonna press some random buttons and stop so if I press save picture it says that the picture is saved so when I load this it will be exactly the same I'm gonna clear and then I'm gonna load it's exactly the same so that's pretty nice so you can save it I think I'm gonna make a lot more saves and uh, okay so it saves it to this place so in snapshot 14w3b and a there's a new comment called clone so you make the clone command and type the two coordinates on the corners like if I want all this to be copied I mean cloned then I'm gonna select this corner and this corner so it selects it all you can press F3 to see your X, Y, and Z coordinates to see where it is. So this makes it so that it loads. This saves it. Um, no, it's it reversed. This loads. 
as clowns. I guess. I don't know. But anyways, let's move on. So, um, if I go over here, there is some falling stuff. I have not added them yet. Only two. So, if I clear this, and then do this, it will make a collapsing dandelion and it looks like a campfire um... if I get some orange and some red so now it looks like a campfire but I think I'm gonna save it Okay. The next, the next thing is the line deleter. So this deletes the line that you press, and you can see the lines. So I'm gonna delete the line number four and three and one and six. Four. Three, one, six. So it makes the space, and actually, you can move it together. That's pretty nice. You have to press this button a couple of times for it to work. And then we got our little smaller campfire. I think so it does it on both sides so I think I'm just gonna reload it and make a rail so because there is something in the way then it will just throw all the blocks that didn't get used and if it likes too much then press this button which removes it all okay now to the explaining so this is the colors and it has a lot of common blocks so it makes so it summons Falling sand relative to that place a little bit down and the tile ID so this is the green clay. Um then it uses the time because if you don't use the time thing then it will just disappear when you Summon it, and the data is the it's the damage value of the block. So, for example, this has a damage value of um, twelve, and this eleven, ten, and so on. So, yeah, okay. So, make a falling line of snow. Let's check that out. So, this powers this torch, which turns off this, powers this, and so on. All the way up. And finally, it will make a signal go through. All the way. So the next block that it makes is always one 
tick slower so it makes a nice effect yeah so I'm gonna block this off again so the save picture um, goes to this it says picture save and oh I know it looks like it isn't connected but this is a powered command block when it receives a signal from a repeater so it makes a signal go anyways so that's pretty nice and it goes all the way to the common blocks which close it I already showed you okay so the move blocks is a little bit more complex so it makes signal go through and it has some ticks going all the way and it have a delay to this which makes the snow blocks on the bottom and the same of the torches which goes all the way to this which powers the pistons and make a snow block again so it's gonna make a snow block there and there if it has space let's see what happens now oh it replaces the blocks that didn't move that's good to know so the falling stuff is the dandelion and the rail so it makes the signal go all the way to this floating thing so it summons falling sand entities and every layer is one tick further from the the previous line oops so it sounds on sand all the way to there and tardy time data okay so the rail is a little bit more redstoney because it's a lot bigger so it makes a signal go to there and around and there and around again and so on so that's pretty nice and the line deleters let's just take line number 4 so it just deleted the line so this signal goes all the way up band stuff there's a lot of redstone in this world and it passed the common blocks which replaces the the blocks over there and destroys the other ones so let me just turn this signal off
and lock this off. So I'm gonna remove. Okay, so I think I sometimes will just paint something on this. Maybe I should do it. Maybe now. Nah. Why not? Should we draw just a simple park? A torch. So it goes eight pixels. All right. So there, there, there. Nope. That was one. Um, there, 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 there. Okay, so it's all the way. And one, two, three. It is now eight blocks. So now I'm gonna just. Do this again, and again, so, some white, and some more white thing, and some orange and yellow. So that's a point. So let's delete some of the lines, like this and move it together so now we have a mini torch that's kind of cute I don't know I can stand on top of it and I have to that steel. So I will make a link in the description to the printer thing. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!